everybody. This is Joanna, and Nicholas just sat down here. Oh, what do you have here? What is that? Huh. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Okay, uh, sorry about that. Thank you so much for joining me for our January readings. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done readings. It's been since mid-July, and I really appreciate you coming back here to watch. Um, welcome if you've never been here before. And um, for those that are returning, also thank you so much for reaching out to me and for your concerns, your emails, um, checking on me, seeing how I was doing. Just thank you for your patience, your your love and concern. I, uh, I really do appreciate it. So um, I wanted to say that. Now, I am doing these obviously in December. Hopefully it won't take too long with Mercury retrograde, but... Uh, you know, with the upload times, but I wanted to wish you a happy new year. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started with these readings. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye. Hi, Virgo. Happy new year and welcome to your January 2018 reading. And please Forgive me, I have a horrible cold. I'm getting over it. Um, so I'm at the tail end of it. But that kind of slowed me down on getting these video readings out. So I apologize. I was hoping to get them out sooner. Uh, so what I've been doing with these readings, these monthly videos, is I share some general information for you. And then I will pull some cards. Uh, and the cards I will pull um, will be for a love reading. So, also, I'm adding some new uh, services. You can go to moonwatertarot.com and just click on under tarot services and see what I'm offering. But um, I'm not doing any live readings right now as I'm recovering from my surgery still, but... I'm doing email readings. It'll be one and or two questions regarding love, and I will take a snapshot of the spread, and then I will answer your question with what I conclude from the spread. So it'll be a little bit less expensive than the video questions. So, and those, those will just be for the love questions, the, the, you know, one or two. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of messages here. Now, I want to say this. I did an, I mean, the most amazing reading happened last night. Um, it was my eighth reading and it was uh, Sagittarius. And I'm getting a similar message. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, you may want to watch the Sagittarius reading, and I would say at least watch, you know, when I'm shuffling, uh, because I just heard this song uh, with you. I don't know, with Sagittarius, um, you know, for, if you've been watching my videos for years, I do have a guy that sings, or <laughs> sends me songs. But last night, the Sagittarius reading was incredible, and I'm getting, um, again, what I'm getting with you, this is what I'm hearing, and I'm not going to sing it, but it goes, Earth Angel, Earth Angel, won't you be mine? So, I feel like there's a message of love, but I'm also hearing that some of you are Earth Angels. You're here on a divine spiritual purpose and I feel like it's to nurture people to help protect people like in a divine way and also and animals and to teach so some of you I feel like may be teachers or are going to be teachers and share your knowledge now I feel that some of you are making career changes if you have not already. I want to say this. I am shooting this video mid-December. So 
So these energies can be happening from now all the way through January 31st. Some of these career changes, though, have happened, uh, but the effects and, and the progress is going on. I'm hearing, and this is what I heard with Sagittarius. You are a beacon of light. Things are attracted to you, like you're a magnet. You are setting a new pathway, a spiritual pathway for some of you. And you're embarking on something new um, that will bring you abundance, joy, and happiness, and to others. Now, I also get something about protection. So I feel like you are protected and you are here to protect others. So this is also coming across as like, I feel like, I don't know, this could be in a military way, like you're here to serve and protect. Uh, so maybe some of you are joining the armed forces or the police academy, or you're here, I'm seeing like the justice symbol, some of you may be going to law school. You may be getting, uh, you may be taking your LSTATs. I, I see further studies. So for, for whatever this is. So it's embarking on um, something new or further studying. Now, this further studying, I feel some of you may be traveling to go study. So this could be like continuing education courses. Um, but I see somebody getting like their passport ready. I feel like you're traveling overseas to go study some more. I'm being pulled to Europe to study, I don't know, I feel like studying something old or uh, maybe, maybe it's an old school that's been around, I don't know, or old ideas, something like that is coming up. Um, I'm also getting something about writing. So I wonder if some of you are studying literature. Uh, I'm getting Oxford, Oxford, England. I'm also getting singing. And maybe that's why Sagittarius, because there were songs coming, so many songs coming in in that reading. Um, so that's definitely com coming up. I also am getting a message... I feel like um, somebody is, there's a possibility of moving or somebody wants to move. Now, this may also be like you're wanting to expand your business is another way that I'm hearing this. Um, or maybe this is even franchising, branching out. I'm also being pulled to India. So I wonder if this, um, this might be like a franchising, merchandising, fashion industry. Somebody may be reaching out to, to India for something like that. Okay, I'm also getting the message because, oh my gosh, look up Blue Jay as an animal totem and squirrel i because i just saw it in the backyard so that is a message for somebody blue jay and a squirrel i don't know what the animal totem messages are on that um but i with blue jay i'm like getting spreading your wings and flying like your something is taking off that's what i'm picking up um now just kind of health related. I'm getting sad, S-A-D-D, -D, where I feel like there's something about seasonal disorder where, you, you know, you might um, need sunshine or this might also be coming across as vitamin D may be important, but I feel like getting out in the sun. Now, I know like, you know, here it's winter and on some parts of the world it's summer 
But if you're in an area where it's gray and drab, like here it's been really gray, like it's really important to, you know, uh, envision sunshine or getting outdoors, connecting with nature as much as possible. Maybe that's why the blue jay and the squirrels and, and things like that. Uh, some of you um, may be going to where there is sun. And that's why I'm picking that up. Uh, I'm also getting the message about uh, quitting smoking. And I feel a bit dizzy in my head. So I feel like if, make sure if you're on any prescription medication that you're following the prescription or if there's any side effects, you communicate that with your doctor. Because there could be a side effect about... Um, about... Uh, dizziness or maybe it's just vertigo i'm getting vertigo like somebody i may maybe somebody is like really high up and they get dizzy i'm not sure what this is um maybe it's a change in barometric pressure or altitude i don't know maybe somebody's going to be climbing up high going mountain climbing <laughs> Um, uh, just, uh, I don't know. There's an adjustment with that, that, uh, you may, you know, forewarned is forearmed. So I just feel like prepare for that, especially if you are going mountain climbing or something. The other thing is I feel like there's something, I've been picking this up for quite a few signs where there's neck or back issues. Uh, acupuncture or Reiki may be of assistance, but, you know, I always say go visit your doctor, um, you know, and, and just get some advice on that. Because uh, I feel like somebody is making a decision about that uh, regarding back or neck. And I'm also picking up drinking. That's coming up. That came up for several signs. Maybe somebody's wanting with the new year to stop drinking. Um, so those are just some messages that I'm picking up for you. Uh, let's see what comes up regarding love for January 2018. So let's take a look. And just remember, um, you know, I'm, I am in December still here, so these messages can be taking place even sooner. Okay, Virgo, sorry about that. My camera was getting full. Okay, so let me focus here on love for you. Love, love. Ooh, okay, that just flipped out. So, oh my Okay, I'm going to just go ahead and go. Okay, we've got the death card in reverse. Oh my gosh. Look at these. Okay, so the four of cups, the four of swords, the ace of pentacles, and the six of cups. Okay. Let's see what's underneath. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. I'm getting the feeling that um, some of you have a decision to make in terms of love. Um, Nicholas just ran up here. Look at him. Just full of energy. Okay, Virgo, so, oh, right. I'm being led to the, the card in the middle. Um, first of all, I am uh, being led to say that Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio are of significance and most likely the Earth signs. Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. So that's you. But I'm also getting air signs. So, and that would be Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. Um, 
I want to start out by getting something here that is probably pertaining to one person, but I do feel like it's something that needs to be said, and it's uh, kind of a difficult situation because my heart really uh, goes out to them because I am feeling like somebody has lost somebody, somebody has passed, and... This is not, I do not feel this is coming in. I feel that this has happened. And they're, they've been having a difficult time dealing with this. Um, so my heart just really goes out to you. And I think when it comes to love, that's why this is here. Um, it's, you know, our, uh, if there's any comfort in our, I believe that our loved ones that have crossed over are very close to us and they can hear us. That's just my belief. And whoever this is, this message is to, I feel that this person that is crossed. So for example, if you were engaged or, or if you were married and lost this person, I'm, this person would want you to be happy and live a very fulfilling life. And I feel that you are going to, what I'm seeing here is this is a process and I understand that. I would not be surprised either if you are getting signs from this person. If there's something that it might be um, a message it may come in your dreams. They may come in your dreams. Um, there may be a symbol, um, a, a bird, a dove, or something that means something that's special between you and this person. I do feel that they would want you to live a happy, fulfilled life. And I feel like you are going to be meeting somebody I'm placing, though, this a little further out. It could be January. It could be any, remember, I'm doing this mid-December, but it could also be June, July, or August. And I'm also picking up August. It's quite interesting. You know, Nicholas jumped on the table, and he hasn't been jumping up here as much. I know he doesn't like it when I do the readings up here. He was here for the Leo reading. I'll tell you that. This is the one reading he just took over the table. Um, that's really the only reading. And you're my ninth. Are you my ninth reading? Or tenth read? No, ninth reading. So I, I feel like there's, um, there's somebody that is... Um, you know, going to be coming in. Nobody is replaceable um, at all. But I do feel that there's still room in your heart and there is somebody, and it may even be somebody that uh, I'm getting different messages. Okay, and I'm getting this not only for the person who's lost somebody. Um, for some of you, I'm getting... Okay, I want to finish this this thought, though. Whether this is the person I'm speaking to that lost somebody or I'm getting a message that you might meet somebody through um, school. I'm getting studying overseas again. I remember I picked up on, I think it was Oxford, England. Um, I'm also getting, so work or a convention or a meeting. I'm also getting, though, that you may have known this person that's coming in from childhood or from your past, or they're from like your hometown, or somebody from your past introduces you. You may also be taking a trip back home and you meet this person, or Somebody from back home sets you up with somebody new. I'm also being pulled towards Facebook or online. <laughs> so I know it's a gamut of things, but that's kind of what happens when, you know, you're reading for thousands of people. 
Now, for some of you, I feel that uh, this situation is uh, where you're feeling like this situation, somebody has not passed, but it's not going anywhere for you. Now, it could be the other way around where, you know, you're wanting it to move on and the other person it feels like it's not going anywhere, but primarily I'm not feeling it that way. I'm feeling like you are not very happy with the way things are going. You're really, you may even be taking a break from the situation. You both may be. Um, there may even be a situation, I'm getting long distance. There, with these two fours, there may be two different residences, residencies. Somebody may even be doing a medical residency is what I just heard. So you may be, yeah, there may be two different areas, two different states, for example. You may be living in, if you're in the United States, for example, two different cities, um, something like that. But there's something about moving or wanting to move that theme is coming on again or coming up again it might even be that you're moving out or moving away from the situation for somebody i do feel that somebody is feeling bad or guilty for something that they did they may be coming back to you with an offer it may even be an offer in terms of an engagement like they're you know maybe you you were wanting to get married or they were wanting to get married one of you wasn't sure there was back and forth somebody's coming in with an offer now I feel like you're really, though, deciding on what to do. If you want to be in this or not. And the other thing is that for some of you, I feel like you may have a choice. Somebody may, uh, it may be a choice between an earth sign and a, a water sign that you have to make. I think for some of you, you're, you're debating on whether or not this situation is over, whether or not it can be improved upon. But usually with this card in reverse to me, it's usually definitive. So I feel like most likely some of you are moving on. And... There's somebody coming in possibly from the past or this person that you have moved away from is having a difficult time that you are moving away from and you may be meeting somebody new, but then this person from the past, so the new person could be an earth sign, but see then this person from the past comes back up again and they could be a water sign because they're having a hard time letting you go. And then you have a decision to make of what you're going to do. Now, I'm also getting that there could be a situation where this ended and this may have happened a long time ago and something's getting rekindled from a long time ago. So it's going to be different for whom these messages even resonate with because they're not going to resonate with all of you. I do feel though that somebody feels like they're not being heard there may be kind of a um, butting heads where I, I'm getting that there's possibly some issues regarding control where somebody just feels like they're, you know, like they, they're not listening to you. They're not engaging in... Like maybe they're there, but maybe they're not emotionally there. And that's what's missing. Or there's, there's a hard, they're having a hard time expressing, you know, the, their feelings. 
they shut down emotionally or they have a difficult time communicating even with their words and so you have to decide or you're deciding is this what I want so some of you this ending may be coming up you know it may be coming but I feel like the power is in your hands more than in the other person. So for some of you, if you have broken up, this person could be returning again. Or reaching out to you online or through some message, text message, or, you know, just out of the blue or Facebook or, you know, something like that. But... I'm getting an engagement still. I still feel like somebody is getting proposed to. Like, um, so you might get proposed to between now and January 31st. And if you do, congratulations. And for some of you, I'm getting spring or again, it might extend out to June. June, July, or August. That's what I'm getting. So these are just some messages regarding love. Uh, remember, if you would like a private reading from me, I would love to do one for you. Of course, you can reach me again at moonwatertarot.com and look under Tarot Services. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.